Yes, bro. All right. You good? Nice to meet you. You too, bro. Um, when you turn up every day, how does looking at that motivate you? It's really inspiring because, you know, I know all these players that since I've been growing up, like especially like some of the more recent ones, especially like Jez playing with him in the academy, it's like, it's inspiring knowing that there's a pathway here, so. What, what would it do for you as a person to see your face up there or like all over Sellers Park or in the area? I mean, it's, it'll be a dream, innit? But um, I think just to, to focus on my football and then hopefully, you know, that does the talking at the end, so. See your first time in it, like, what did you think? When you first walked into the changing room, like you, you saw your name, with the Prem badge on it. That was mad still. Like, I was just thinking, you just feel like, yeah, I'm here. So, yeah, like, it's just a mad feeling. Like, I wouldn't even know how to explain it because it's tough, but it's just like, it's a crazy feeling. So let's talk about match prep. How does it differ from Chelsea? Like being here, how does it differ from your parent club? Like, how you get ready for a game? How I get ready for a game? Yeah. Uh, it's all very much the same, to be honest. Um, I try and do the same things. Uh, that I've got things in my head that make me feel like if I don't do something the same, okay. that's the reason, so I don't feel as good. Like, the other day, for example, I, I didn't feel as good in the game, and I'm thinking, is that because I was in the bath too long the night before? <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, this is honest. Uh, do you, so when you're in the change room, or like before the game, do you feel, do you think about your opposition thinking, oh, like I'm up against a tough fullback or a tough defender, I've got to up my game, or do you just go out there and just, let yourself shine on? Um, obviously, different opposition all the time and it's a different game all the time. But at the end of the day, I, I try not to let who we're playing against phase me at all. Because football's football at the end of the day and I'm going to do what I'm going to do and you're going to do whatever you can do to stop me. And is there anyone like your age or like academy players that are playing Prem that you think, that you look up to and aspire to, you know, emulate? Yeah, I'm definitely Michael Olise. Okay. Like yeah. the way, I know he's a couple years, a year older than me, um, but the way he plays, like his play style is like what I want to be like. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so I watch him whenever I can. Like I go to the first team games and yeah. Like decent, because I think him, Eze, yourself, you're like street ballers and you just express yourselves on the pitch, which is very good. Yeah. So yeah, hats off to you. Let's talk about being on loan, just quickly. Does it feel like the first day of school coming to a new club? Yeah, nervous, um, new people, staff, players that you've never met. Yeah, got to learn names again. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to do it so many times already. <laughs> At Palace, it was easy. It only took a few days to settle in because everyone's so nice and, and, and down to earth. So it's it quite easy for me. Bro, you see that stand? Bro, that's like the top man. It like when I come here, it was rocking. Yeah, like, yeah, that yeah. must boost you on it. Yeah, no, definitely. Here, here, playing here is is it's top three atmosphere in the yeah, Prem. It's, I'll give it's you a that. joke here. I'll that, give the Eagles that. Yes. The Holmesdale, Holmesdale stand, innit? I'll give them that. Yeah, I'll no, give them it's that. top three, honestly, yeah. like. The noise is a joke. <laughs> I hate it. And it's good that you're at a club where, like I call you Mr. Palace, but you're at a club where you've got the core fans that have your back. Like they know what you can do and they know what you've done for them. So if you have an off day or you do have a bad game because you're only human, they're yeah. not going to send you abuse. Like, you know that abuse you get? Yeah, um, like they're that fan base. Like. Well, obviously I've been, like, I've been at Palace for a long time, but I feel like they're the only team that back their players through thick and thin. Yeah. Like through, they remember it. Like, I still have fans who tell me they love me because of the promotion season. The goal and against Brighton. The goals against <laughs> Brighton, <laughs> Watford. Like, those are things that stay in people's minds. Yeah. So appreciation goes a long way. And obviously when people have that, 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 their memory doesn't just, yeah, yesterday doesn't matter. It makes such a difference. Like people, you're, you're seeing your own fans telling you, screaming that you get out of my club and stuff. Doesn't it's, it's not nice for football. No. So having fans that support you 100% makes such a difference, man. Is there any requests you have for the kit, man? Like some people like cut socks. Some people like, you know, their own that, like, you know, socks with the grip. Yeah. All of that. Is there anything you say to the kit, man? Right, I need this. Yeah, always, always. Um, the cut socks is like is a must basically <laughs> because you can't train in one sock all week and then play in a different yeah, sock. Yeah. It completely feels like different. So they yeah, need to keep the same sock. Okay, okay. Who washes your boots? No one washes my I wash my own. Okay, better, better. <laughs> keep the position. <laughs> what about boots? Are you like same boots for training and matches or you've got separate ones, wear moulds only? Throughout the week, 
I try to wear um, my modes, but for games I wear studs. But I like if I play if I play well in a boot, I ain't changing that boot <laughs> until I play bad in. So that's a superstition then. Yeah, true. true. Uh, what are the top three songs that you'd listen to before a game? You're gonna laugh at this. <laughs> so you know you know the the greatest showman. For, from now on, I think it's called. Cool. Okay. For some reason, it gets me going. <laughs> and the reason why I started this is because it just gives the kids like something to strive for, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm blessed to be able to like have my own academy. And it's just a thing where if I can give back and have children just enjoying, then yeah, why not do it? So you're here, match ready, game on. Is there someone you've come up against and thought like, wow, like, this guy gave me a run for my money. This season, I'd probably say, especially in the first half, ZH. ZH? Yeah, he was, he was just doing loads. In that, especially in the first half, he was doing loads still. And that's one guy I was thinking, yeah, it was long in the first half, but. Did you, did you expect that? It's the thing where, I, if I know someone knows them, yeah. I'll ask about them. See so like, say Jairo played with my ax, innit? So okay. I'll say, oh, like, what's he like, innit? So trying to get a rough idea before Do you before need research? Garden. Yeah, literally, you have to, man. <laughs> These guys are dangerous. <laughs> Who's been the toughest opposition you faced? Player or team? Go both. Both. Um, it's weird because if I'm saying a player, it's going to be like a defensive player who's probably tried to man mark me. Um, and I know McLean done it for Norwich and I had a pretty bad game there. <laughs> I know you weren't expecting to say him, but he done a good job on me. Um, obviously, you got your the Bruins and all that yeah. were the best best midfielders in the Prem. Um, team, Man City, Liverpool, hate playing them. Uh, is it like like a pre-season where you're just chasing the game and just have to... Yeah, you, you know it's coming. <laughs> Everyone's ready. They're getting their running boots on, ready to run after players. I am anyway. Um, but they're games that you want to do well and yeah, you want to yeah. show that you can play against them. And I feel like this season we've done well against the top teams.